Hey guys, welcome back to the Homestead Adventure. Today I'm going to show you how to roast pumpkin seeds. Now whether or not you're using a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin or a pie pumpkin, you can roast the seeds from either one. If you're using a pie pumpkin and you want to learn how to make your own homemade pumpkin puree, go ahead and check out my other video on how to do that. But otherwise, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is get inside this pumpkin. I'm just gonna cut it like you would a jack-o'-lantern, just cutting off the top. Maybe I will make a jack-o'-lantern out of this. Why not? Haven't done one in a while. Ta-da! All right, so now we're gonna scoop out those seeds and put them in a bowl. I'm just gonna chop that off. And I'm just gonna take my hands and dig right in because I don't care. All right. Beautiful. Oh, dropping some. I'm in a weird mood today. I'm just going nuts today. I don't even know why. But that's okay. I don't care don't care life is too short not to have fun all right all right got all the seeds out here we go and now we're gonna separate the guts from the seeds I don't know if I'm gonna make a jack-o'-lantern or not otherwise I'm just gonna feed this to the goats because goats love pumpkins so if you have goats and you don't know what to do with all your guts, you can feed it to your goats, feed it to your pigs. Um, otherwise, it's really good for your compost as well. So it doesn't go to waste either way. If you live in town and you don't have a garden and stuff, I mean, you could throw it away. It doesn't really matter. So what I'm doing is just separating these guts. There wasn't a lot of guts in this pumpkin. In some, you're gonna find a lot. So we're pretty good here. Next thing we're going to do is rinse the seeds. All right, so I'm gonna take my seeds and put them in my strainer. Oops, keep dropping these everywhere. Whoopsies. And we're just going to rinse these. Rinse them until they don't feel slimy anymore. Oops. Oh, gracious man. Okay. We're good. Doesn't matter if you have a little bit of stringy stuff in there left. So, I mean, it, the whole pumpkin's edible. It doesn't really matter. So this next part I already did and then found out that my microphone wasn't on. So, um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to boil the seeds and we're going to do two cups of water and two teaspoons of salt. And then we're going to boil that and then we're going to add the seeds and turn it down to medium and simmer for five minutes. And in that time, we are going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So the reason why we boil the seeds is that it just helps them uh, get crispier when you're baking them. So now the seeds are boiled and we're gonna strain them again. And then we're going to transfer these to a cloth and pat them dry. So now I've strained the seeds. We're just gonna put them on this cloth here, spread them out, and I'm gonna take some paper towel and pat them dry. You wanna make sure they're as dry as you can get them. So otherwise they won't crisp up very well in the oven. Nobody wants chewy pumpkin seeds. I'm nice and crisp. 
I think I'm going to end up <laughs> buying a Bluetooth microphone pretty soon here because I am sick of having to redo all my videos. This is ridiculous. And I got all cat hair on these. Make sure that your cloth is clean and you don't have cat hair all over it like mine. So now that I patted them dry, I am going to put them in a bowl. So now we've got them in our bowl, all dry and ready to go. And now I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on here and some salt. Not very much olive oil, just, just a tad. And a little sprinkle of salt. And mix it up. And then we're gonna take our seeds and put them on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Spread them out on a single layer. So now we're going to put this in our 350 degree oven for 10 to 25 minutes, depending on how big your seeds are and how dry they are. And we're gonna mix them around at least once during the process. So I'm gonna start with 10 minutes. So while your seeds are roasting, you can make your masterpiece. His name is Bob and he is pitiful. So the seeds that I'm making today are just normal salted pumpkin seeds, but you can make kind of any flavor that you want. So the seeds have been in here for about 20 minutes and they're a little bit brown, but I tried them and they're nice and crispy, so I'm gonna take them out now. So just kind of mix them around while they're in there and eat one every now and then, see if it's crispy and they're good to go. And I'm gonna let them cool on here for a little bit before I put them in a jar, but we'll probably end up just eating them all right away anyway. So that's it. That's how you roast pumpkin seeds. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next adventure. Bye guys. Billy. Yeah, Billy. Billy, I love you. Yeah, Billy. Today I'm going to show you how to make, today I'm going to show you how to make Go ahead and check out my other video on how to roast. Damn it, God, I am the worst at this, okay. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make, I keep saying make, okay. Today I'm gonna to show you how to roast pump. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make, damn it. So let's get started. I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay. Let's get it started in here.